So we really haven't done that much with the European rabbits yet, and honestly, even since they got fixed, I don't think we've gone on a hunt for them since then. So I wanted to do that and just kind of, in general, hunt around Hirschfelden and see if it can maybe be like the Silver Ridge Peaks hunt, because I don't do a lot of like walking through Hirschfelden's fields in the early morning. So I want to see what we kind of run into, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've been to this set of burrows recently, and it's still been all female, so we'll probably just drop one real quick and kind of move on from here. I think I've got tripods at maybe six or seven of these burrow locations, and I want to just go from like location to location, walking along, and if we can, what are you doing? You're going to get away, probably. <laughs> if I could get that right. What in the world? This is the smartest rabbit I've seen yet. I can't hit it. Okay, we actually got it. Anyway, that was not how that was supposed to go, but I guess uh, extra rabbit kill. I want to not just fast travel from location to location. I want to like walk through and see what we find like as we get from one burrow to the next. Because fallow, wild boar, and roe deer should all be out feeding right now. And I want to see kind of like what we run into. And I really don't have a clue like if my setups are good like with the tripod locations and stuff. I just sort of set them up and haven't really been back. I know I went to that last location a few times, but other than that, I haven't really even visited them, so... I'm curious to see, like, what we're gonna find. And, uh, I guess that was just single or double lung. And I know the other tripod's right there, but I'm at least hoping that any rabbits that are out didn't hear that. There's actually another roadier buck that's a lot more interesting running across here. Kinda gonna back away from the burrows so it's less likely they hear it. And if he slows down like a little bit more, I figured we could probably get that and that'll be good for a potential response. I mean, lately road deer haven't been making diamond very often, but I've seen a couple posted, that's an interesting spot to lay right by the burrow, but yeah, I've seen a couple posted like in the last week or so, so it is possible and I guess it's worth like having the response there, but that's probably a good sign. Like, if the fallow were feeding right there in the burrows, probably the rabbits shouldn't have spooked from that, but that is actually just a silver by one. Almost got a gold. And our other one is somewhere not far from here. And he was just a level one, but I kind of want to see where we hit, because I thought we had the hard shot. I guess just left of it. Had to be really, really close, but of course that being level one, it's not too important, just gotta hope for good respawn luck. So there's at least a male rabbit, and we'll have to kind of sneak into our tripod then, and try to get a good look at everything there. So we got up in here without spooking any, and there's actually, it looks like a good number of males walking around, so this is a good spot to maybe come back to, but that one there, he's got the just 2kg instead of the 1 to 2, so that's probably a good one to shoot first. And I'm curious, those of you that have shot Diamond European Rabbits uh, that were level 2, can these guys that are 1 to 2 kg make it? I'm guessing they probably could because of the way they changed the estimates, but if you know, uh, let me know in the comments because it would be good to know like if I actually have a chance when I'm shooting those. But if we can find that guy right there, we'll get him, that guy, and are we fast enough to... That guy's going to go in the back of that burrow. I probably should have brought a shotgun for this, but I wasn't necessarily planning on the rabbits being like a major part. I kind of just want to go from burrow to burrow and shoot the stuff like fallow deer, roe deer, that stuff in between, but 2.2 is 0.2 below diamond. And this guy is just right on 2, but at least a couple of golds and maybe some respawns for them. If things kind of keep going like this though, the rabbits might be the main part of the video because there actually wasn't anything between this set of burrows and the last, but I think that's the only male. And this was the spot we found during a stream, so I probably shot most of everything here. I don't know if that's like a respawn or one that I didn't get. Okay, I thought we missed. It's weird, like, those are the smallest rabbits, but I feel like they actually kind of like live longer from a shot than the other species. I'm not sure why. Might just be like they're a little bit tougher for some reason, but that one is, of course, just silver. So there are going to be like a couple of fast travels here, so we don't have to run like several kilometers between burrows, and this is one that I knew we wouldn't actually see anything between, but we'll just, uh, Go ahead and get that one. That's actually a cool area. It dies like right in the burrow there. 
But yeah, I think between this one and the next one, because we're going like down around this lake, we should see some stuff. There should be kind of the end of bison drink time, and there should be some fallow feeding in that area, at least from what I've seen. It's just in like the perfect spot. I don't know if it actually tried to run into the burrow, I assume so, but that actually looks pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that for anything, but it's a cool screenshot. And of course, just another female. I've hit this spot so many times, and that was the only rabbit here, so I don't know, like, I've noticed certain species. It really seems like you have to take out the entire herd before you get respawns, like, actually, wolves would be a good example, like, taking out the entire pack seems to get, like, a full new pack to spawn, so maybe now that we got all the rabbits, we'll get new ones here. I'm actually kind of looking forward to coming back here now, but finally, at least for a little while, we get to look at something that's not European rabbits, and it's kind of cool to see the bison just, like, all herded up down here by the water drinking. Just kind of looks realistic, because you could see, like, just a huge herd all gathered around here, but I think because the best one is that level 3 there, we might actually go for the fallow, because there's one right there. I don't think that could make gold. I want to say gold's in that, like, upper estimate area, but I have the 270, just to kind of switch it up, because we usually bring, like, the M1 or whatever. And I figure that should bring him down fairly quickly. And at least shooting from here, that shouldn't actually impact our other burrows, but I think we better mark him. We'll check the burrows and then go get him. And actually, this is the one that I messed up when I set up initially. Like, for whatever reason, I guess I didn't consider what direction I'd approach from. So I don't know what's actually here. I've spooked them a bunch of times, but seeing all the bison kind of reminded me that I had a pretty good run through multiplayer the other day on Hirschfelden, and I wasn't really after the European rabbits, I was kind of just going off of whatever was good for the time it was. And I ran into two really cool bison. The first one was a level 5, actually in the area that I used to hunt red deer all the time. And I don't know why I had this loadout, I can't remember anymore, but I was stuck with the 454. And luckily, it's a pretty powerful weapon and was able to bring down that level 5. And then, in the same game, a little while later I ran into a piebald, and of course that one's just a female. I've only ever shot a rare female bison. I've had now two piebald females and a male mystic way back in the day, but it was pretty cool to get that. I didn't actually taxidermize the female, but the male is one that I'm definitely going to find a spot for in the trophy lodge. Like, a lot of our big plaques are filled with, like, water buffalo and cape buffalo, so any variety like that is going to be good, but we are just getting to the base of our tripod here, and I hope at least that the rabbits are still out. They are just really tough to actually get eyes on. If they're not moving around, they're pretty easy to miss, but I must have actually gotten at least a few because I don't see any males. It's tough to just like listen and figure out where they might be, but I guess we'll just get one or two of the females because I don't see anything actually special, but again, it might just kind of be down to getting like all of them and then we'll get the respawn, so we could get the two or three that'll be good and we're not making a ton of hunting pressure just because we have the tripod so maybe that'll get us some fresh response here but 0.9 that last one was that might be the smallest i've had and i don't know why this one just hung around that was a 0.9 as well long shot and all and now we gotta go and grab that fallow deer before we end up leaving without that i mean if we can get that we might as well try to bring him down as well Kind of a tough shot to make, but that'll be just one extra potential fallow respawn. And I've been trying to figure out more and more if respawns actually happen, like, in the area that you shoot the original animal. So, like, the two fallow we killed here, I don't know if the animals that respawn from them will actually, like, use these zones. But either way, just especially as we're hunting new areas for the European rabbits and stuff, hunting around other spots and, like, just maybe getting respawns from wherever they actually happen, it's just going to be good to have those down and get new ones, but it looks like they're actually pretty much side by side here, so that works out pretty well. And I want to see how close this guy is to gold, because I figure he's kind of close. Actually, he's about 36 below, so 170. I think it used to be like 150 for gold, but then also I guess the true axe made them get a little bit bigger. I was almost sure I heard some kind of footsteps, but that actually hit pretty much center of the neck there, but we're going to fast travel up to my last two spots. Like, I've got other burrows with tripods at them, like this one, that's a burrow location, and this one. 
but I never see rabbits there, and I'm actually not sure why. I've not done enough with them to really figure that out, but we're going to fast travel to here. And both of the locations are pretty near here, but hopefully we can get some other stuff other than rabbits. I mean, it'll depend, but that could be a gold wild boar. Actually, we can kind of go with the 22 strategy here, just kind of shooting near him. He should go alert and turn broadside. He actually went further than broadside. But that just gives us an easy hard shot, so we'll take that. Ooh, we might have been a little closer to the burrows than I realized, but... I mean, I've gone to these locations a good bit before too, so if there's no rabbits there, that's not a huge deal. And like I said, this was kind of the part that I mostly wanted to do. But generally, I've just kind of ran across, ignored everything, and shot the rabbits, so... It's good to kind of do the opposite, but hopefully that was at least worth it for a gold, and it was. 103, so not a huge gold, but got the hard shot, and at least it saved us some time, but I'm not sure, like, the only way I could see the rabbits staying is if they actually maybe don't spawn until you get within a certain range of them, which I don't think should be a thing, because I know you can see them from far away, and all the other rabbit species you can spot just fine from hundreds of meters away, but... Guess we'll find out. So probably could have paid a little more attention and managed to not spook them out of there, but seems like we actually did just that. So we'll go to the last place. And that one's actually over here, so... I mean, we got a good distance around this time, so maybe we'll catch something in between. I'm actually kind of surprised there's a male here because there's only two rabbits. And I really don't know, unless we get lucky. I'm not sure how we're going to get both. But I'm surprised we didn't see anything... On our way over here, we had a pretty good distance to go. But we'll try this. That one, and man, that's just a long way to go with the Argus scope. But I did actually notice there's a roadier hanging out down here behind the tripod. And he was getting ready to run, but we'll take a final bonus kill. And again, if there's anything to that theory, next time we come back here, we can get that final female rabbit and maybe get all new respawns. And I could be completely wrong about the way that works. I wouldn't necessarily recommend uh, going out and doing that unless you have some level of proof that it works that way, but I'll definitely be checking into it in the near future here because once rifle season's over, which as I'm recording this, I'm basically preparing videos for rifle season, I'm gonna have a lot more time for that kind of stuff. So hopefully we can get a look into that fairly soon. But actually we do have a trip to the trophy lodge because I wanna go and put that European bison in there, and I didn't really have like a better place to like put those bison into a video. So I just figured we're coming to Hirschfeld in anyway. We're actually in an area where there were bison. Why not kind of include them? Especially on one that's almost like an experimental video, just going from place to place. But yeah, I'm not really sure where we're gonna put it just yet. I think all the like big plaques are filled, but a lot of them have like the old water buffalo that like they don't score that high anymore, and I kind of want to get rid of them all eventually. This is pretty much the only thing on this wall I don't want to keep. Because the rest are like gold rares or diamonds. And then down here is some of those water buffalo I talked about. But like we have the gold piebald Rocky Mountain Elk. We've got the gold albino moose and two diamond cape buffalo. So I think this is going to be the spot. And it is good to just like get a second diamond European bison in the lodge. Because we had the other one that we shot with the bow. Max the curious 280.3. And this one is just on the other side. I want to see which one was bigger. 284, so this one was actually a little bit bigger that we shot with the bow, but both were just like random multiplayer kills, not specifically after bison at all. But I kind of like it. I like to get that kind of variety, and again, they're the only two in the entire lodge, so good to kind of add another one there, but yeah, I'm pretty happy actually with the way that video went. We got a lot of rabbits down, and I'm curious like if that little theory is going to be a thing, and we'll find out actually pretty soon, but anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.